I modeled in Blender for 24 hours. Why? Uh... Because I can. And I love ruining my sleep schedule for views. Now, before I began the challenge, I had to come up with what to model in the 24 hours. I decided to order some food to help me think better, when all of a sudden something horrible happened. So I put the bag down and I realized it felt a little light. So I started to open my food and there was nothing there. They stole my cheeseburger and I would have revenge. Since I can't have my burger, I'll make my own. Ready? Go! So for the first seven hours, I stared at my computer screen and had absolutely no idea what to do. I've never used Blender before. Get that out of here. I've actually used Blender for a little while now, so we can just jump right into it. For the first hour, I spent some time roughly modeling some cubes, in order to get something that somewhat resembles a burger, but we'll add some more details later. It's now later, and in hours 2 and 3, I decided to give the patty an actual texture. This way it looks less like a piece of poop, and more like an actual burger patty. I then added some displacement to it to make it look all realistic, and then I decided to model some cheese to go on top of it. I discovered how easy it is to make processed cheese, just because processed cheese is the fakest cheese there is. In hours 4 and 5, wait, I think I'm forgetting something on the burger. Only one thing. You forgot the pickles! <gasps> so I spent some time to model pickles. This way Bubble Bass won't be angry. But I hear what you're gonna say. They kinda look like poker chips. But guess what? All they have to do is look good from the outside, and that's all that matters. Now it's time to barter them buns! I created a texture for the buns that uses the color ramp node and the gradient node in order to make the inside of the buns look slightly less cooked than the outside. And then I used the mapping node to shift where this cooked texture will actually be on the entire model. Hours 6 and 7 were spent making some noise! Whoop whoop! Let's go football team sports! Not that kind of noise. The kind of noise that gives textures imperfections and makes my bread sharper than stepping on a Lego as a kid. Now that the buns are looking tasty, I think it's high time we actually give it a background, and not just a gray expanse of nothingness. I mean, this background is just... sad. Hours 8 and 9 were pretty simple. All I did was... I went to Yale, I got a degree in astrophysicism, I started to unlock and study the secrets of the universe until finally, finally, I knew everything there is to mankind. And then, only then could I understand how to give a proper sky texture to my world. Hours 10 and 11 were spent adding the final details to both the model and the scene itself. In order to finish detailing the model, we had to put hair on the burger! I used a hair particle system to put sesame seeds on the top of the burger bun. And after adding the finishing touches, I had finally modeled my long lost cheeseburger. But we were only 12 hours in and I was absolutely starving. So I went back to the bag that my food came in and not only did they forget my cheeseburger, but they forgot my french fries too! So the only logical solution is to make more fake food to fill the giant gaping hole in my stomach. Hours 12 and 13 were spent taking a cube and giving it displacement to make it wobbly and look like a very, very sharp-edged french fry. And yes, I'm making french fries, not chips. These are chips. These are fries. Get it straight, Britain. In hours 14 and 15, I worked with the shader nodes in order to get the best texture for my french fry. I'm still really bad with shader nodes, though. So in order to understand them, I... Went to Yale, got a degree. Wait, I already did this bit. I can't do it again. Uh, wait. Shader nodes are harder than stepping on a Lego. Wait, I already said that too. Despite me being an idiot when it comes to shader nodes, I was able to make a texture that mimicked the fried and charred outside of a french fry. In our 16 and 17, I added every American's worst nightmare to my french fries. If you guessed student debt, you'd be partially right, because nobody puts student debt on french fries. I added salt to my french fries by using a hair-based particle system to spread tiny white spheres across my models at random. In hours 18 and 19, I traveled back in time to go drop an apple on Isaac Newton's head, which in turn leads to the creation of the Blender physics engine. I used the engine to drop my french fries into their container and put them in a somewhat random pattern. In the final render though, I didn't use the container to hold the fries. I dropped them using the physics engine on a plate. In hour 20, I made a fry carton that definitely won't upset Burger King's legal team. In the last three hours, I imported my french fries into the scene with the burger and added some finishing details to really make the render look polished and finished. And after having worked in Blender for a total of 24 hours, the render was finally ready to be completed. After waiting forever for it to render, I think the image came out really, really nice. I still have one problem with the whole situation though. They forgot to give me my drink!